Uh, my name is Janine Johnson. I am Vice President of Visa Predictive Models. The, a normal day is spent between uh, working with my team, uh, problem solving on the projects they're working on, uh, working with our partners uh, to uh, make sure that we're advancing the initiatives and that the initiatives are on track. So I would say I spend most of my day between working with my team members on the things they're working on and working with our product partners on either the current initiatives or upcoming initiatives. So I think some of the biggest upcoming trends in data and analytics uh, pertains to data privacy, consumer choice, data privacy, uh, an offshoot from that are uh, ethical algorithms. How do we ensure that you're using the data in a responsible way? Again, to protect all in the name of con protecting consumers. Uh, so that seems to be one of uh, the trends that is definitely emerging uh, for the next decade. I started at Visa about eight years ago, and at the time, analytics was not that pervasive. So uh, as recently as 2013, it really was not that pervasive. So I would say that over the last eight years, Visa leadership has recognized the value of data and analytics, invested in it, and grown the capability. Uh, but I do think we're not done yet. There's still a lot of growth to go uh, to, become, uh, to become, to fulfill our potential. One project sticks out because it was really hard. It took a lot of time, and I think we did. We I would say we succeeded. We did a pretty good job. At the time, I was working in insurance, and in insurance, you have fraudulent networks. These are people that collude together to defraud insurance companies, and they generally know each other, and they have relationships. So our job was to use uh, something called graph theory or network analysis to identify these rings of people. So we were looking at connections between people to try to identify uh, anomalous uh, relationships among people in the, in the fraud ecosystem. So it was very challenging. At the time, it was very new. Uh, social networking was just coming about. And I think we were pretty successful. And I think the thing that really sticks out is that it was hard and it required thought and it required effort and it really pushed us to try to figure out how do we solve this. You should go watch my video I just did, um, or my presentation I just did. So the advice is, first of all, uh, thoroughly scrutinize your job opportunities. Analytics is a hot profession. Uh, not every job is created the same. You have leverage, so be patient and find the right role for you. You will be happier, you will be more fulfilled. Once you're in that role, things like attention to detail, uh, communicating uh, your results effectively, and being a contributor to the broader team. Uh, what I mean by that is separating yourself. Do something to help the team. Do something to help somebody else. Don't solely focus on the work. The work is important, but it's also important to contribute to the team, to contribute to the company in a broader way. So uh, focus, just like your ex extracurricular activities and academics, try to find extracurricular activities in your professional life.